Do you wish you just had the discipline and or motivation to stick with your weight loss plan? Have you been lacking in discipline and lacking in motivation? Well, then you need to stay with me today. When we have these thoughts or beliefs, that's why we're not gaining traction. And I need to remind you that it's not from your own will. It can't be. We need to take what Jesus said and remember this wholeheartedly. He says in Matthew 26, 41, watch and pray so that you will not fall into temptation. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. You see, we're too many times we are looking to get motivation and discipline through our flesh, but Jesus says the flesh is weak. So if you can relate, then stay with me in this episode. We are going to come together in agreement in powerful prayer. Just a reminder, if you have not registered yet, to be sure to register for the free training, four keys to losing 15 to 20 pounds in 12 weeks without starving or endless exercise. Registration is in the show notes. I look forward to having you there. Hey, woman of God, are you sick of fad diets that only get you temporary results? Are you looking for a simple, foundational, faith-based weight loss framework that will fit into your busy day so it becomes a lifestyle? Are you ready to break free from binge eating, overeating, sugar addiction, self-sabotage, and the battle with your scale? It is time to let the chain breaker Jesus move mightily into your weight loss journey. I'm Andrea Lynn. I am so excited that you're here with me on Christian Women's Weight Loss. I remember what it felt like to be 75 pounds overweight, exhausted, overwhelmed, riddled with poor self-esteem, low self-image and unworthiness until I was radically saved by Jesus and he made everything new. With 20 years of experience and numerous certifications in fitness and nutrition, I'm here to teach you everything I know about food and fitness while making faith your primary drive as a busy Christian woman wanting to lose weight and keep it off. If you're ready to let the Holy Spirit transform you from the inside out while getting your body, which is God's vessel, healthy so you can rise up and live out the calling that God has on your life, you're in the right place. May the Lord give you ears to hear, eyes to see, a heart that's pleasing to him, along with a body that will be transformed for his glory. Let's dive in. Being a Christian woman, you know that your motivation and discipline does not come from self. That is a very worldly way to look at it and to even strive. It can't come from you. Just like Jesus said, the flesh is weak, but the spirit is strong. So it has to come from you being so confident in God's will. And how do you know God's will? Well, it's all in the Bible. And guess what? The Bible is full of motivation and discipline. So we're going to come together in worshiping the Lord to open up the gates of heaven so that we can decree his will upon us so that the Holy Spirit rises up and that motivation and discipline now is driven by the Holy Spirit. I'll give you a moment if you want to take me into your prayer closet, get into a place where you have a little privacy and let's let's do this together. Let's get in that position where we're praying in power. You ready? Let's get started. So let's just start with magnifying God. Let's magnify the Lord. Let's give him all adoration. Let's exalt his name. Heavenly Father, I exalt you. Above every name, Jesus, you are exalted, Lord. Lord, I lift you on high. Oh God, above my problems, above my concerns, above all my worries, you are high and lifted up. I magnify you, God. You are most holy. You are the holiest of holies. You are my holy majesty. You and you alone, Lord, are worthy of my affection. You and you alone, Lord, are worthy of all my attention. Oh God, I lift you up, highly exalted over my life. 
Lord, you are undefeated. Lord, you have all power and all might and all wisdom and all truth. Oh God, I adore you. Oh God, I worship you. You are so blessed, God. I bless you, Lord. You have all my attention right now, God. You have all of me right now, God. I give you all my attention. My eyes are fixed on you. All my focus is on you, Jesus. You are the author and finisher of my faith. I lift you up, God. I glorify you. I magnify you. There is none like you, God. You are the lily of the valley. I worship you, God. Holy, holy, holy are you, Jesus. Jesus, you are so holy. I exalt you, Jesus. I lift you up, Lord. I magnify you, Jesus. I bless you. I bless you. I bless you, Lord Jesus. Come on, speak it out. Tell him how much you love him, how much he is so great and holy, the greatest of great. Tell him right now. And now we're going to move into praise and thanksgiving because this opens the courts of heaven. The gates of heaven unlock in his presence. So let's press in right now with thankfulness because thankfulness renews your mind. Thankfulness is going to renew all of those fleshly thoughts and they're going to be changed to godly thoughts. So I thank you, Jesus. I thank you for keeping me another day. I thank you for keeping me another moment. Thank you so much, Jesus, for breath in my lungs. Thank you, Jesus, for my healthy body. Thank you, Jesus, for my car. Thank you, Lord, for my home. Thank you, Jesus, for all the things that I didn't choose, but you chose for me. Thank you so much for everything you've brought me through. Thank you for my job. Thank you so much. I'm just so grateful and thankful for you, Jesus. I'm so thankful for you, Lord. I'm thankful for my spouse. I'm thankful even for the spouse that's to come. I am thankful for all the trials. I am thankful for what you are doing in me. I am thankful for the pains. I'm thankful for the tribulations of my life. I am so thankful that you walked me out of certain situations because they drove me into the throne room of God. I am so thankful that I was rejected as a child because it taught me that you accept me and love me no matter what. I am thankful for my past. I am thankful that I haven't had self-discipline and self-motivation because they it just proves that you are the driving force behind success behind motivation behind discipline that it doesn't come from self that it comes from you I am so thankful for all the failures because it showed me how mighty and glorious that you are come on thank him thank him for whatever you want right now is the opportunity to just thank him. Give him thanks. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. And if you're not sure what to thank him for, just say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And you start to feel his presence. You start to feel the atmosphere in the room around you change. You start to feel his peace. Thank you, Lord. And right now, this is the opportunity that we can decree and declare a thing. We can decree and declare what God's will says about us. In Job, it says, Decree a thing and it will be established unto you. So let's decree and declare right now what we what we want as far as discipline and motivation. So Lord, I decree that my body is your temple. I decree that all the work I do to get my body to lose weight and be in better health and shape is all for your glory, Lord. I decree that your hand is upon this journey. I decree and declare, Lord, that you are all things. You are everything. I decree and declare that all things are possible through you and with you. I surrender this lack of motivation and self-discipline because you say all things are possible. So I decree that all things are possible, that I am motivated. I am disciplined through the power of your Holy Spirit. 
I decree that you are my strength. I decree that you are helping me every day in every moment to get off sugar. I decree and declare that you are helping me to have motivation to exercise. I decree and declare that you are helping me to eat foods that are healthy for my body, that your heavenly father created, that my heavenly father created. I decree that you always uphold me. I decree that my motivation comes from you because you are with me and you are worthy of it all, Lord Jesus. Lord, I decree that all the tough moments, the saying no to sugar, the exercising when I don't feel like it are producing a fruit of righteousness in me today. I decree and declare that all the challenging moments, all the challenging moments and situations that I am in, I know that they are purposeful to draw me closer to you. I decree and declare that I will lose weight with ease. I decree and declare that I will have a healthy body. I decree and declare that my blood sugars are normal and healthy. I decree and declare that my blood pressure is stable. I decree and declare that my cholesterol is normal and healthy range. I decree and declare that all I do is for your glory for this body. Yes, Lord. So let's move into praise. Let's praise him. Yes, it's praise him because you know what? What you decree and declare happens because it's his will. What you what you loose in heaven, you loose on earth. And what you bind in heaven, you bind on earth. So we just loosed that the heavenly realms, that the power of Jesus are working upon you to bring you motivation and discipline. So it is available to you right now. And even though you might not see it in this moment, let's praise him. Let's praise you. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. I don't care. I want you to clap your hands and dance around just like David did. Put some praise music on and just praise him. Thank you. Thank you so much, Lord, for the self-discipline. Thank you so much. Yes, Lord. Yes, you did it. You brought me motivation that I've never had before. Yes, Lord. Yes. Thank you so much. Yes, I got through going to that party and I didn't touch one single piece of sugar. Yes, yes, Lord. You did it. You did it. Yes, Lord. Yes, yes. I got to exercise today even though I didn't want to because you brought me to that discipline and self-motivation. Yes, Lord. You are amazing. Yes, yes, woo, this is so good. Thank you, Jesus. I feel it. I feel it. You are moving. I can see it. All my weight is changing, and you are so amazing. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, come on, clap those hands, dance around. David didn't care. He danced, he danced, and he would dance and dance and dance, and he didn't care. So just be free and dance before the Lord. Because you know what? The enemy doesn't like when you're praising Jesus for what he's done, even though you haven't seen it yet in this earthly realm. But it's happening. It's happening. It's coming. He's done it. He is almighty and powerful. So this is why it's important to give praise. So just take a moment. If you want to pause me, give him some more praise. Yes amazing. I don't know about you, but I feel the presence of the Lord so strongly and just so grateful. And remember in the beginning when I said, when it's God's will, he's going to move. He's going to do it. And we just decreed a thing that are all connected to God's will. So I want to just share with you the word, parts of the word that I pulled to decree a thing over us today. So if you can take these words, take these that I'm going to share with you and just sit with them. Sit with them today, study them out a little more, maybe use them the rest of the week until next week. Um, The first one one we used is from Colossians 3.23, and it says this, Whatever you do, work heartily, as for the Lord and not for men. Whatever you do, work heartily as for the Lord and not for men. And this incl- he says, whatever you do. He doesn't say, oh, you know, when you work um, at your job. It says, whatever you do, whatever you do, work heartily. Okay. So that includes your weight loss journey. Do it for the Lord, not for men, not for your flesh. Second piece of scripture that I use today is from Matthew nineteen twenty six. It says, but Jesus looked at them and said, with man, This is impossible, but with God, all things are possible. So remember, again, this goes back to the other version of um, the other part of Matthew that I read in the beginning, Matthew 26, 41, our flesh is weak, but the spirit is strong. So 
our with our flesh, it's impossible. But with God, all things are possible. So really decree this over your life. The next verse is in Isaiah 41.10. It says, fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. I don't know about you, but when I read that, it's like, okay, all right, Lord, he's strengthening me. He's helping me. He's upholding me with his righteous right hand. There's a lot of power there. A lot of, um, remember God's will. And he says, don't fear, fear not, fear not. He is with us even in our weight loss. Okay, and then the last one that I use today for the declarations of God's will over us is from Hebrews 12, 11. And it says this, for the moment all discipline seems painful rather than pleasant, but later it yields the peaceful fruit of righteousness to those who have been trained by it. Yes, and thank you. Okay, all discipline seems painful. In the beginning, it seems painful, but it will bear fruit of peacefulness. And that is what we're looking for. If you feel like you need to go back and do this again with me, worship again, do it. Just hit rewind. Is that even available now? Rewind. (laughs) Hit rewind, go back, redo this. Be sure to really use the scripture that I've gave you today and use this a lot this week. Let this word, let the Holy Spirit transform you today. I pray that this has blessed you. In Jesus name, we pray all of this upon you. All of this happen for you and the mighty change of the Lord happens within you and it shows externally. Before you go, if you have been transformed or blessed by this, please subscribe, then go to Apple Podcasts and leave me a written review. It is the number one way that you can bless me and get the word out there to other women who are also seeking. Screenshot your favorite episode, share on your social media feeds, be sure to tag me, and I'd love to connect more often, so join my Facebook group. Until next time, remember God says in 1 Corinthians 10.31, so whether you eat or drink or whatever you do, do it all for the glory of God. God bless you, my sister in Christ.